G-Shock watch was caked and covered by thin set mortar. Completely and absolutely caked with thin set, it's dirty. You can't even use the buttons. I mean, I'm really impressed. I What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a quick one for you today on how to clean your tile tools that are covered with thin set mortar as well as a quick trick on how to clean a watch that is covered and caked with thin set mortar. So what we're gonna do is really simple here. We're gonna soak these in a product called sulfonic acid. You can buy this uh, on Amazon, you can buy this at uh, any big box store. Um, pretty simple, add water, add the acid, drop all the items into the containers, let them soak overnight, and they're clean. So this is what we're gonna drop in these containers. We've got RLS wedges. They are caked and covered with thin set mortar. They've been used many, many times. We're also gonna drop in some LevTech as well. We've got pliers here that are just completely caked and dirty and covered in thin set. This will go in with the wedges. Also gonna show you a quick trick on how to clean your watch. We've got four watches here. This is a G-Shock I bought four years ago. As you can see, completely and absolutely caked with thin set, it's dirty. You can't even use the buttons because of how much thin set is in between them. This is four years old. We're gonna drop this in with the sulfamic acid. Got another G-Shock here. This is about two years old, again, caked with thin set mortar. We're gonna drop this in as well. A third G-Shock, it's about a year old. Still, it's getting there. Thin set mortar getting caked up all in between the buttons. And the idea is to hopefully get these G-Shock watches to look like this brand spanking new one here. So, what we're gonna do is simple. Fill these containers up with water, add a sulfamic acid, Stir them up and let them sit overnight. Here we go. See it working already. And again, you can see this acid working already on the wedges and the pliers. Well, there you go, they're both soaking. We're gonna let these two containers soak overnight. We'll come back tomorrow, open them up, and take a look. Again, wedges and pliers, sulfamic acid, three crusty, caked up G-Shock watches, also sulfamic acid. What's up, guys? Welcome back, it's uh, the next day. Let's take a look at what we have here. Here are the wedges and pliers. As you can see, the pliers have turned black. Looks like the metal's oxidized, so we'll pull those out and see how they look. I'm really curious about the G-Shock watches. Haven't tried this before. You can see a lot of thin set and debris and chunks within the container there. So it's doing something, so let's pull this stuff out, take a look. Okay, here we go. Take a look there, you can see the pliers. 
oxidized, have turned black. But everything looks fairly clean. So we'll open this up in just a moment. There's the watches. G-Shock. Three of them, again. A lot of chunks of thin set in there, so it looks like it's doing something. Let's open up the wedges and pliers first, and then we'll take a look at these watches and see how well uh, the rest of the debris wipes off and cleans up here. Yeah, wedges look clean. I don't see any thin set on them. And here are the pliers. As you can see there, they cleaned up very well. I mean, these things were just caked and filled with thin set. I mean, look at that. Like brand new. With an oxidized metal there. Quick way on how to clean wedges and pliers. Let's take a look at the watches. All right, let's take a look at the watches here. There's one watch. Now it looks pretty damn clean to me. See if this stuff wipes off pretty easy. Let's just take all three out first. Looks like they need to be wiped down just a bit, but I mean, look at that. We'll compare them to the brand new watch. So there's one, it looks like this is the one year old G-Shock watch. Here's a second, again, looks fairly clean. Some, uh, some residue still, but it looks like it wipes right off. So I'll set that down also, and we'll see if we can clean this up just a bit. Ah, there we go. Okay, so, this is the four year old watch. This was caked and f covered with thin set more than the other two. This was the two year old watch. Looks fairly new and clean to me, and here was the watch I bought about a year ago. So let's wipe these up really quick and see how well they clean up. All right, well look at that, guys. Here is the four-year-old G-Shock watch. Was caked and covered by thin set mortar. Completely and absolutely caked with thin set. It's dirty. You can't even use the buttons because of how much thin set is in between them. This is four years old. I mean, I'm really impressed. I didn't think it was going to clean off these washes this well. I mean, that thing looks great. I believe this is the two year old watch again. I mean, look at that. I don't see any thin set mortar. The watch still works, buttons. Everything's good to go, and here's the one-year-old watch that looks brand new once again. I mean, all these watches look new to me. Here's the brand new watch, four years old. Brand new with a two-year-old watch. And a brand new with a one-year-old watch. All three watches survived the acid. I've got to say, guys, it looks like I'm not going to be buying a G-Shock watch for a long time. I've got four great-looking, clean G-Shock watches. Thanks for watching this video, guys. As usual, please hit that subscribe button below. Leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one.